Hey guys, Resale Rabbit here with ResaleRabbit.com and today I'm going to show you, start to finish, how to prep a shipment to FBA. First off, we got to buy merchandise. I'm at Walmart right now and I found a whole bunch of these, $4.50 each. I'm getting $10.85 after fees and it's got a pretty good rank so I'm going to do a little more than double my money. I've got so much product sitting in the van so let's find a little bit more inventory and uh, go get the shipment done. Now we gotta get boxes. I like Walmart because they seem to be the lowest price on boxes, but in the larger ones, Lowe's and Home Depot are also good. First, I'm gonna buy about five of these boxes. They're 11 and three quarters by eight by four and three quarter inches. These are great for video game systems and some larger things. Another one that I commonly buy is the six by six by six inch box. These are 58 and 48 cents respectively. So I'm gonna grab some of these. I also need boxes for the shipment. So if you follow me over here, we need these ones here, the 18 inch box. This is what most of my shipments come in. I also will commonly use the 16 inch box right here, 16 by 16 by 15. These are a dollar and eight cents and these are a dollar and 32 cents. If you're looking for tape, I'm also buying tape here. I get this Duck Brand Easy Start tape. It is $17.97 for eight of them and I get my bubble wrap here too. Before we bring anything in the room, first thing we got to do is get the laptop up here and test the internet speed. So I'm just going to load a couple of websites and uh, see how fast it'll load. Seems to be decent. There's nothing worse than getting your inventory all up in your hotel room and finding out you have very slow or no internet. Now before we get started, I want to do a quick sales update. I know some people have been asking about them. I am having a very good day. I'm at $1,673 in sales so far today. My goal is 1K a day. It is August, it's not August, it's April 7th, and I'm already at $8,500 in sales, so I'm far above my goal, which is spectacular. Some notable sales today. I sold that Canon Mark II that I found for seven or eight bucks at a Sacramento thrift store. Sold for $8.99 today. I sold a thermostat that I found at a Target. I don't remember what I paid for it, like 50 to 75 bucks. Sold for $143, it was on clearance. And I sold a Logitech Harmony remote that I bought at a Houston flea market for 40 bucks for $234.99. So it's been a great day. Now let's go get the inventory. Where would we be without luggage carts? This is about half the shipment. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. But uh, we're gonna take two trips with this, but if a hotel doesn't have a luggage cart, get yourself one of these folding utility carts. They hold about 150 pounds. They're about 25 bucks at Walmart, and they really come in handy. So let's go upstairs. Now I got everything in the room neatly laid out so I can kind of see what I have, what's gonna fit where in the box, how it's all gonna go in, and what I have for quantities. Now it's time to start de-stickering everything and scanning it into Inventory Lab. All right, now we're gonna add this to my shipment. It's pretty simple. Scan the barcode, and let's see. Total cost for 50, selling for 16.99. I've got eight of them. I am making $5.93 profit on each one. That's 131.78% ROI. I submit and move on to the next item. We've got lots of crap here. So far I'm 50 units into this shipment. All right, now we've got everything in the system here. A uh, total buy cost of $1,495. I will get 3,183 profit. A total sales value of about 5,800. It's 98 units with an average sales rank of 82,210. And all of this information is telling me this on Inventory Lab, the software I use for listing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click send products and we're gonna push them over to Amazon. Now it's very important that every used item gets tested. We're gonna test this micro cassette recorder right now. It seems to be working, but let's find out. It appears it's not working. So this is something I'm gonna pull from my shipment. Occasionally you find items that don't work. That is why you need to test. I would rather find out right now myself than have the customer find out and get angry. Now you may notice I'm not using a thermal printer, I'm using standard 30-up labels with a laser printer. 
I prefer it that way when I'm doing a lot of multiple quantity things. These are so much easier. That's just how I do it. You can do it however you want. A lot of sellers swear by their thermal printers. I don't. So all we're going to do is we are going to print these labels up for the shipment. I'm using a standard Brother printer. This is the older model, but they have a similar one out now. The H1-2340, I think. Just look up Brother Laser Printer and you'll find it. They look similar to this. All of these extra labels, I just throw them away. Or I use them to cover up extra barcodes and stuff. A lot of people worry about the waste, but you can get 3,000 of these things for six bucks. I'm not worried about the waste. So I've got Guitar Hero guitars and a whole bunch of big stuff in my oversized shipment. I've showed you before how to prep Guitar Hero guitars and large items like Wii Fit boards for shipment to Amazon. Take a look at the video if you haven't seen it. But all I'm gonna do is take the label and stick it on now that it's done, and I'm gonna throw a piece of tape over it. Now comes the part where all the prep needs to happen. Some items need bubble wrapping and bagging, like this calculator. Some items are new and just need stickers. Some need a lot more, like this Nintendo Wii that needs to be bubble wrapped and boxed and all put together. All right, once you have everything prepped, it's time to get it all tossed in the box. Probably not like this. I would recommend actually looking at where you're tossing it and getting it in an in orderly fashion so it, you know, will pack nice and neatly, but this is how I'm doing it. So now it's all in here, let's try and organize it a little bit better. It doesn't need to look pretty because it's only going to be an Amazon employee dealing with it. So you just get it all in there in a neat fashion and you'll be good to send it off. Now, as you saw in the box, there's a lot of extra space, so we're gonna have to cut the box down a little bit and then fold it over. Some people use a box resizing tool. I use a knife. All right, now once you've got everything done, we're gonna weigh this thing and ship it out. So this particular shipment is two boxes, 78 pounds. It's costing me $25 to ship to, uh, I believe, Chicago. Yes, Joliet, Illinois. Dirt cheap. I'm not uploading packing slips or packing lists. That's still optional. So obviously I'm not going to do it. But uh, now all I have to do is print the labels, slap them on. Now all we're doing is sticking the labels right on the box. A couple of things to remember, do not cover the seam of your box with the labels and do not fold any barcodes around the corners. I just put them right on the side, easy peasy. Now these labels, if you see they're cut perfectly, I get these on a website called onlinelabels.com. They cost me, I believe about 25 bucks for a thousand of them. So this total shipment is going to three different warehouses. My regular one here, my oversized one down here, and this one, I don't know why it's sending three items to a separate warehouse, but whatever. We have, I told you the numbers before, I think it was like $5,000 worth of product. I really don't remember anymore. It's been a long day. It took me about three hours to do this shipment, not including my dinner and the breaks that I took because I take a break about every five minutes. A couple of things to remember. Never ship a box over 50 pounds unless it is one single unit weighing over 50 pounds. And if that is the case, you have to put team lift stickers on it. You can ship as many boxes as you want in one shipment. It's very simple. It's very easy. If you like this video, if you found it informative, hit the like button below. I'm very tired. I don't want to talk anymore. But if you do have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, go on to resalerabbit.com to see more videos. Subscribe on YouTube to see those exact same videos. Or go to Resale Rabbit on Facebook to see links to the videos on resalerabbit.com. They're embedded from YouTube. Bye!